Arthropods are in many ways the most successful animals on Earth. For example, their sheer biomass outweighs all other animal groups. In terms of number of species, four insect orders, that of beetles, that of butterflies and moths, that of wasps, bees, and ants, and that of flies probably represent half of all known species. So they are truly successful. But where did they come from? Well, there are certainly in the fossil record uh, primitive Paleozoic animals which have some but not all of the features of arthropods, suggesting that the arthropod body plan evolved in stages. Today, there are two groups of living animals which are classified in a phylum which is related to the phylum of arthropods. So there is a superphylum of panarthropoda, which includes the tardigrades, which are not arthropods, but are considered relatives of arthropods, and also the phylum containing about 200 species of velvet worm. These are invertebrates which live in the southern hemisphere or near the equator. And though they are not arthropods, and unlike arthropods in not having an exoskeleton, uh, their antennae being different, uh, forming the body cavity differently, and other features, uh, they are similar to arthropods in their molting, in the fact that they possess legs with chitin claws, in their segmentation, in genetic sequences, and the organization of their nervous system. And so this phylum of velvet worms is classified as uh, one of the three phyla of the superphylum panarthropoda. So thus, this is a second group of living animals which have some but not all of the features of arthropods.